All right, so I thought I'd just make a short video about uh, the different types of bearings available for these pulleys of the belt wrap kits. Uh, heaps of E55s had them out there, and a lot of them originally came with uh, this type of, of what is referred to as a ZZ or a ZE bearing. So you can see it in the code, if that'll focus for me. It's 63 or 6. This is 6303ZE. So, what the ZE refers to is basically a shield. So, here's one I've bashed apart to show you what the shield actually looks like. So, it's a brass retainer, and the brass retainer basically stops, as it sounds, as a shield, stops large parts of the bearing coming out. So it doesn't actually do a great job of retaining the oil. That's why it's not called a seal. Now, the reason why a lot of people put them in these type of applications is because it has a higher maximum RPM. That's due to the fact that the limiting factors in a bearing speed is the heat and the seal. Now, this doesn't have a really have a seal, and it's metal, so you can, you can give it a really hard time. But what happens is because it doesn't actually have a seal, your oil gets out there or water gets in there. So you wash your engine down and then all of a sudden your bearings scream their head off. Probably happens to a few people, I don't know what's, you know, what's the cause, but um, a lot of it is this. So these type of bearings really shouldn't be used in an area that they can get wet. Um, you know, their applications are inside uh, cases or something that's lubricated with oil or grease. So the standard bearing has a seal. So this is a poly seal and as the name refers to it actually seals the grease in. So even though this bearing has a lower RPM maximum rating it's still plenty for the application it's being used for in the E55 and it will last a lot longer than these guys because it actually has a seal in it. So I think these were originally with the belt rack that I got with the car and they have uh, 20, 25,000 Ks and they're shot. They're noisy as anything. You can't re-grease them, just throw them out. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just um, neaten it up and put some new bearings in there, but I, I just thought I'd share the experience with it. And um, yeah, a lot of people buy bearings on specifications, not their actual application. All right, so here's the bearing that came out of it. Uh, this one was on the tensioner for the main belt. Very hard to get to. Pain in the ass, really. Uh, so as you can hear, it's, it's a little bit noisy. It spins quite freely, but it's a little bit crunchy in there. You can actually hear it rattle around. So as I said, uh, the oil or grease has got out and got in the edge here because this part here isn't actually sealed. I'll put the new bearing in and show you the difference. Okay, I've got the new bearing in there. As you can see, this is a bearing with a seal and it's silent. No noise whatsoever. No rattle. Perfect. Probably doesn't spin as freely at the moment because the grease hasn't been worked around in it, but there you go. Silent.